action. I just was around them all the time and I was like sister. I was like the little sister with Wayne and Mac and all these boys, you know, Jay Mills and Gota and all of them. And all I would hear them talking about is big butts. <laughs> and I didn't feel complete or good enough, good as them, as the other, as those girls, because I'm like, oh my God. I live in a predominantly black neighborhood. I see beautiful black women every single day. And then I look at these beautiful black women and I see the most ridiculous wigs on top of their head. And I ask myself, why does it have to be this way? And I listen to the Nicki Minaj interview. They don't know probably that I, that I always had that insecurity. Mm -hmm. So they're just joking. They didn't mean any harm, but it wasn't a joke to me. And this woman, she was being so vulnerable. But in her vulnerability, she said that she was insecure. She was trying to behave the way that she thought men wanted her to behave. And so she put on these blonde wig, pink wig. She went and got some butt shots because she thought that's what other rappers wanted her to be. And so she took her insecurities, projected them on a whole generation of women, and you're wearing her insecurity like it's a badge of honor. You're not Barbie. There is no black Barbie. Why in the world would any girl want to be a doll? You're not. You're a beautiful black woman. You're a beautiful black girl. And you don't have to try to imitate anybody. No black woman should ever be a character. No black woman should ever be a caricature of herself. I look at the impact that Nicki Minaj had on an entire generation of people. There's this wonderful creator, and she calls herself Barbie 2.0, and this woman is gorgeous. And I'm like, girl, in every single video, you got a different wig on top of your head. I remember one time I was looking at a tweet, and it had said, like, Oh, some of y'all don't need to be wearing blonde because some of y'all look like black and mild plastic tip. And they were talking about dark skinned girls and how dark skinned girls can't wear blonde. And I'm like, babe, I don't know who you talking to, but last time I checked, dark skinned girls look good in blonde. Do you see what I look like? Talking about, I look fabulous. I know you do. When you wake up and you go take a shower, when you come out the shower and you look in the mirror, that fresh-faced version of yourself, you are the most exquisite person that God ever made. But instead of you seeing that, you try to put on a costume to be somebody else. And I'm like, God damn, just love yourself. Dear black woman, please just love yourself. Don't try to be nobody else. I don't want to have no black woman with no blonde wig. If I wanted to have a fake white woman, I'd just go get a real white woman. How about that? Don't you remember Indiari? I'm not the average girl in the video. You know what's better than black love? Self-love. If I can't love me, can't nobody else love me. And you putting on all this shit and you're expecting me to love you when you don't even love you. Can we have honest conversations? Can I encourage you to be the best version of yourself? The only reason I'm saying this is because I love you. I've seen my mother. I've seen my sisters. They are the most natural, most beautiful women I've ever seen in the whole history of the world. When I have the expectation to see a natural black woman, you'll give me anything except for that like men are supposed to be attractive to women women are supposed to be attractive to men and when a man tells you that's not appealing to me that's not attractive to me then maybe you shouldn't do that maybe you should be in your natural state the most wonderful essence black goddess queen whatever the fuck you want to say that yourself is be that be you don't be betty boop don't be marilyn monroe don't be barbie don't be barbie 2.0 be the beautiful black woman that god made you to be the greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive.